So today I'm going to show you how to make easy hamburger soup. It's pretty simple. I'll take you along the way here. It's pretty much just hamburger. You can use venison as well. Potatoes, uh, corn, green beans, diced and crushed tomatoes. You can add carrots in if you'd like. Uh, I always add black beans as well. And then a little bit of onion and beef broth. So let's get going. I plugged the crock pot in already. I put it on low. I'm just gonna go ahead and put in the beef broth so this starts heating up. While we get everything else together. All right, so we got that in. Let's get our cans open. Actually, while we're doing that, let's get the meat on the stove so that starts cooking. So we got one pound of ground venison and we got one pound of kebab meat, beef. So we'll cook these up and get them in a crock pot. You can use any combination you want. You can use venison, you can use beef, you could even use chicken if you liked. Let's go ahead and finish opening up our cans, or start opening our cans that is, because we have a lot of them to open. We got one can, this is a 28 ounce can of crushed and diced uh, tomatoes. Has a little bit of green chili in with the tomatoes. You can get that with it or without it, totally up to you. I put it in there because uh, that way you don't have to add red pepper usually, depending, you can add or subtract it depending on your preference. I like the flavor of green chili a little bit better than I do um, red chilies. Just a preference. Add one can of carrots. We'll add one can of corn. And then we'll give our meat over there a stir. As you can tell, I'm not greening these because we want some of the extra fluid. All right, let's get an onion cooked up here, or cut up here rather, and we'll throw it in the crock pot. All right, let's take the skin off of them. bit of a rough chop. One slid under the crock pot there. Alright, we'll toss this in. One can of green beans, and then we have one can of black beans. Opener. And while the meat's cooking, we'll cut up our potatoes we got. I have six normal baking potatoes, cooking potatoes. We'll cut 
set those up while our meat finishes. And then when we're done with that, we'll throw it all in the crock pot, cover it up, and we'll be set. We'll let it cook. Cutting these in about one centimeter size. Doesn't have to be exact. You can change that if you like. this. Alright guys, so we got the meat browned up probably 95% of the way. So let's go ahead and move all the meat over to the crock pot. Give it a little bit of a stir. We'll put the lid on and then we'll let it sit. We'll let it sit about probably three hours, somewhere around there. We'll give you a little peek here after we give it a stir. All right, guys, so we'll give you a little sneak peek here. We'll be back with you a couple hours. 